Hi guys, Yasas que Carlos Tate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making the famous Greek salad, potato salad, from Tarpon Springs, Florida. Tarpon Springs is a nice little Greek town in Florida that I've never been to, but I've heard so much about. You guys have been requesting this, this recipe since last year, and I did research it, I looked into it, and it looks so delicious, and I can't wait to visit to try it for myself. But this is my version of it, because I, from all the research that I've done, it's basically creamy potato salad and Greek salad combined. So you get the nice vinaigrette flavor, fresh flavor from the Greek salad that's crisp and delicious and refreshing and light. And then you get the creamy potato salad element of, of it. The both things combined are so yummy. You can serve this as a main, uh, main course if you're doing something vegetarian or as a side. It is perfect for this time of year when you guys are going to be barbecuing and you don't want to heat the house up too much. This is a delicious salad. Let's get started. We're going to start off with the potatoes. They take the longest part. So I peeled, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five russet potatoes. These are baking potatoes. You can use red potatoes if you want. And I'm just going to cut them into equal pieces, not too small because I don't want them to end up getting mashed up. Once they're cooked, just all pretty much the same size. This is a good size right here. All right, so I have a pot with cold water. You never want to put potatoes in boiling water because it's going to start cooking them on the outside and then the inside is not going to be as cooked. The outside will become mushy and you're just not going to have an evenly cooked potato. So always start with cold water and put the potato cubes in there, potato chunks, whatever you want to call them. And then I'm going to put a whole teaspoon of salt in here, give it a little mix, turn it over high heat, bring it to a boil. As soon as the potatoes are fork tender, I'm going to drain out the hot water and transfer the potatoes to a big bowl so we can make our potato salad. In the meantime, while that's happening, I'm just going to get all the veggies ready for the Greek salad portion of this. And that's so easy. You could really put whatever you have on hand or whatever you want. The more herbs you put in there, the more flavor. I feel like the more things you put in the salad, the better it's going to taste. I've even seen people put boiled eggs in the salad. I'm not a huge fan of boiled eggs, so I'm leaving them out but you can definitely do that. So I'm gonna begin with uh, four scallions. You could use three or four, and I'm just gonna thinly slice them. I've already rinsed these out. I've soaked them in water, so they're really clean. Otherwise, if you're slicing uh, and you haven't washed them, you slice them first, put them in a big bowl of cold water, so if there's any dirt trapped between them, the dirt, you know, sinks down to the bottom and then you lift them out and you drain the excess water um, out of them. That is good. Now, traditionally, they make the salad with romaine lettuce that they just uh, finely chop. I usually have these baby lettuce lettuces. It's a combination of spinach and other baby lettuces. You can add some arugula to this. I'm just going to roughly chop these really quickly. They've already been washed. You don't even have to chop them if you like your salad leaves to be a little bit whole. Not a little bit whole. <laughs> if you like your salad leaves whole, you don't have to chop them. But I want everything to be very easy to eat, so I'm just gonna give it a nice rough chop. And I'm gonna put it in the bowl with the scallions. Okay, then I have these three little bell peppers here. I'm just gonna cut them into rings. And just go ahead and shake off the seeds and we're going to add those to the bowl. Then I have some tomatoes. You can use any tomatoes you like. I always have these little grape tomatoes on hand so I'm just going to use these and I'm just going to cut them in half. And as I'm cutting I'm just going to add them to the bowl. Next, I have some Kalamata olives that are already pitted. Let's get all these seeds out of the way. And I'm just going to slice those in half as well. You can cut them smaller. Okay. 
I have two pepperoncini peppers. So I'm just gonna cut those into little bite-sized pieces. You can even put them whole if you want. Then everyone, everyone ends up fighting over them. <laughs> These go in the bowl. I have a cucumber. I'm just gonna remove the peel. and dice that. I have some fresh parsley. You could add dill to this. You can add basil if that's what you have. Mint is really nice. Just get the leaves off of the stems. And then just gather it all up and finally chop it. Of course, lots of feta cheese. Always buy the block and then crumble it by yourself. It takes two seconds and has way more flavor than the already crumbled ones in the supermarket. And then I'm just gonna go in and add some dried oregano. About a teaspoon is a good amount or a little more. And just mix everything up. The salad is pretty much ready. I'm not gonna add the dressing until the potato salad isn't done so that way this doesn't start to wilt. So I'm just gonna toss everything lightly and just put it on the side and wait for the potatoes to be boiled and we're gonna move on to the next step. The potatoes took 15 minutes, they're fork tender, and you see this is why I cut them a little bit on the bigger side, because the ones that are smaller started to break up a little bit, and that's fine with me because I like to have texture in a potato salad, some bigger pieces, some smaller pieces, but if you were to cut them all small, they would mash up by the end of it, and you don't want that, we're not making mashed potatoes. They're ready, and as soon as they come out, meaning as soon as you drain them and they're still hot, is when they're gonna absorb all of the flavor. So do season them with a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna go in and add some mayonnaise, about a half cup. I always eyeball it. It looks like more than a half cup and it probably is, but that's fine. And then I'm gonna lighten it up with a little bit of yogurt. This is just plain yogurt. It's not Greek yogurt, but you could use Greek yogurt if you wanted to about two big tablespoons, some black pepper, and I'm just gonna to toss the potatoes in this so that way they can just absorb all of that flavor. It's also gonna help them cool down. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of dried dill, about a half teaspoon or so. You can leave it out if you're not a fan of dill. Now, I was supposed to add <laughs> the bell peppers and the scallions in here, but I'm just gonna leave the potato salad without any um, herbs or veggies, minus the dill, obviously. The dill is an herb, just like this. I'm also gonna lighten it up with a little bit of red wine vinegar, about two tablespoons or so. Vinegar and potatoes are best friends. Really wakes them up, makes them taste so good, and lightens up the richness from the yogurt and uh, the mayonnaise. I'm gonna add a little bit more black pepper, and then I'm gonna go in and give it a little taste to see if the seasoning needs anything else. Mmm, that is super good. I like it with a little bit more salt. Salt brings all of the flavors together, but you season it to suit your liking. You could even throw some finely chopped red onion in here but the potato salad part is ready. Now we're just gonna put it all together. Okay, now the last part of everything before we put it together is just to dress the salad. So we need about half a cup of olive oil, really good quality, extra virgin, cold press. Greek olive oil is my favorite. Oops. Get that in there with about a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. If you're running low on vinegar like I am, this was enough for the salad. You can use lemon juice. Balsamic vinegar is, is an option too. Then we're gonna put a little bit of salt. And 
And we already put some oregano. I'm just going to hit it with a little pinch more. And then just toss it. Now, if you want to serve this for a barbecue or serve it all together, you would put the potato salad in one big tray and then the Greek salad on top. I like to do it separately, and I'll show you how I do it. So this is how you would get it at the restaurant. You would get a scoop of potato salad on the bottom like that. And I love this potato salad dressing, so I'm going to just gonna layer it on there. And then the Greek salad goes on top. Now, I would think that the salad goes on the bottom and the potato salad goes on top, but nope. This is the way they serve it, and this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, I have seen anchovies in recipes, so you can put some anchovies if you're a fan. Now it's time to do the taste test, and I try to get as many things as I can onto my fork. There's no pretty way to do this. Mm. That combination is amazing. I would recommend to chill the potato salad before you, go, before you serve it. So do, don't add the dressing to, this, to the Greek salad part of it until the potato salad isn't chilled. You can even make it a day ahead of time if you're doing this for a picnic or a barbecue or something like that or any kind of party or for your family. <laughs> make the potato salad, chill it. All the flavors are going to come together. It's going to be even more flavorful. It's going to absorb more of that sauce and it's just going to be delicious. Tastes amazing as is, but... It does taste better when it's chilled. All of the exact measurements are on the website, www.dimitrisdishes.com. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you have any special requests, post them there. I do add them all to a list, believe it or not. And I get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.